set, and uh, away they go. Fulgo jumped slightly outwards and dropping in towards the back end of the field is Godspeed. Toffus began well, run for covers along the rail in the yellow cap, and they followed just beyond them by Lepecio. Long swords three wide, and Fulgo is going widest of all. Then came Circus Lights, and two lengths away beyond that is twice the storm. It races about eight or nine lengths off the leader. On its outside, there we got Viva de Janeiro, and wider out on the track is Kalida. Further back in the field is Godspeed, and Everedicio races at the back end of the field, and that's about 12 lengths off the leader. They race their way towards the 800 meter mark and full goes gone to the front and gone about three or four lengths clear from Toffers racing in the white colors in second, long swords third, run for cover down on the fence, the yellow cap in fourth. Then came Circus Lights on the outside, Kalida in the all blues, three out and then comes Lebecio. Further back in the field is twice the storm, got about 12 lengths to make up. Then comes Viva de Janeiro and Godspeed, homeward bound past the 400 meter mark and in front is full go, still got five lengths to spare of a run for cover. Then comes Toffus Lebecio down the inside and further back is Longsword, but it's full go in front. Clear by two from run for cover who's wearing it down. Then Longsword Lebecio behind that. They into the last 150 and run for covers come bounding into the lead and goes clear. Lebecio running on down the inside, but it's run for cover. Second Lebecio, full go third. Then came Longsword. So run for covers, two from the left hand side in the yellow cap as Fulgo drifts towards the inside, that has to come towards the outside middle and uh, gets that clear run and comes bounding home under Ryan Munger to pick up the lead into the last 100 metres from Fulgo who started to fade away into the latter stages. Lebecio running on towards the left hand side will run on into second and Longsword will round up the quartet in the last race of the day. Thanks everyone for joining us, we've got a big day on Saturday. The classic day tomorrow will be at Fairview, where Nico Cruziotis will take you through that. And uh, also, I'd like to thank Nico for sharing the microphone today. I always appreciate it. Have a very good evening. Get home safe. Good night. All right, for the last time, it is our post race interviews and our last winning groom and a job well done. It is Lungiso who saddled the winner of race number 10 to victory, and that is a runner for cover. Baba, thank you so, so much, and uh, enjoy the evening, and hopefully Saturday the stable enjoys more success again. Yes. Thank you so, so much. All right, 1,500, 1,500 Rand, rather, not, rather than 15,000 Rand, and it is uh, courtesy of World Sports Betting. Thank you very much to our sponsors on uh, the uh, Groom Initiative. Now, I thought the day had gone by, and uh, we were not going to speak to Mr. Manga, but not to be a nice uh, way to round off the afternoon. It's been a quiet afternoon for you. Yeah, um, I've had a few horses knocking on the door, but honestly speaking, I did think this was my best run on the card. I have won on him before. I know the horse quite well, and I have to give kudos to Uncle Waishong. He had the horse spot on. Um, he felt so good going to the start, and that just gave me a lot of confidence in the race. I could basically put him anywhere and he won. And, um, so yeah, big thanks to Uncle Waishong and his team. Geez, they all ran very good today. I was busy following them. At least I'm on the team in the last race, so thank you to them. Uh, to Uncle Rufi, the owner, geez, thank you. It's been a while since I've ridden for him. And to Zita, I really appreciate it. It's nice to be back on their big boy. And yeah, he's, he's won well today, and I'm sure he'll pick up a few more. He's in good form, and yeah, he's one I would follow. Indeed, and of course, uh, the irony, you, the horse that runs behind you is a horse you won on just a week ago. Yeah, you know, you say that he was, he was drawn next to me, and I said, oh no, I won on him last week. Hopefully he doesn't come and catch me but you know luckily I fought him off today so it was a good win but like I said big thanks to Mr. Mowing and his team my sponsors Bryanson Auctioneers the best around thank you thank you enjoy the evening sir you too Right, a man who certainly enjoyed the afternoon and is uh, yet to enjoy the evening ahead. It uh, certainly has to be an evening that is celebrated. Very well done to you, sir. Happy to be part of the day when you have such success and long may it continue. Thank you very much, Cecil. A big thank you must go to my owners in Cape Town, Uncle Rufi, Zita and uh, Rory. I know you oaks were there screaming. You can hear my voice is gone. So I was shouting too. I'm so, so happy that the horse has eventually got there. It's taken us a bit of a time, a little bit of time, but he is really, really thriving. I'm sorry they couldn't be here, but I know that they've watched, they've screamed, and I thank them very much for their support. Indeed. Enjoy the evening ahead, and this hopefully is just the springboard to a very, very fruitful career. 
Thank you, Cecil. It's been a wonderful day. Once again, thanks to everyone involved. My team, Ormond Ferraris, my acupuncturist, Maui, uh, Maui Acupuncture, uh, my farriers, Victory Farrier, my sponsor, Indigo, and the team back at home. Thank you very much. All of this is not possible without you guys and to the sponsors, of course, Betway for racing. World Sports Betting, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Weishaw. Thank you. Thank you, and well done to my way. Out of shot, but uh, certainly in mind. A very well played to you, and of course, last but not least, we call in our man, uh, Mr. Johnny G. And uh, yeah, it's uh, party time. Let's uh, <laughs> let's get into the mood. And of course, uh, Mr. Green Betway looks um, like they've started early. They've started early, but uh, let's... Uh, no, they oh. thought uh, Saturday was today. Okay. I think they've got their days <laughs> confused. Today's Thursday, boys. It's not Saturday yet. All right, Mr. Green Seodas, first of all, with you, the highlight of the afternoon, I think two names that stick out, Azzy and Maui. Absolutely, and well done to, to them. Uh, they both had red letter days. Um, great for a the Azzy stable. Horses look tremendous, and uh, why should mine? What can we say? And of course, uh, uh, Weho Mying had yes. a winner too, so the Mying family really did well today. A very good afternoon of racing in terms of the size of the fields, the competitive nature. Most of all, as a jockey, Johnny, though, was the speed of the races run at a true test of pace. The pace was up there. Nika, I'm a very big believer of pace of race, and I've always said to Cecil when we sit, and me, even you, the pace, uh, you run a true run race, you're gonna get a proper result. And um, especially today, uh, when, I, when I looked at the card and I came in with Cecil, we said, yeah, we, we, we're gonna have a tough time finding winners, but um, look, a couple of outsiders came in, but I think, like you said, I think, uh, I'm very happy for my ex-colleague Washong. His horses look tremendous, and uh, he did a very good job today. And obviously the Azis, uh, they've been through a quiet patch. I'm so happy to see that they've uh, bounced back. Um, on to Saturday. It's uh, one of the, it's, it's, it's basically our uh, Premier League, I think, on Saturday. And uh, from race one, right through to race nine, wonderful horses, and it's gonna be an absolute bang on meeting. All right, so that is 0203. We are talking about the 2nd of March, which is just a couple of days away. Yes, leg two off of the Triple Crown and a Triple Tiara. And uh, which of the uh, two, uh, the Classic, the Lady Classics, or the uh, Male Classics, uh, will be highlight for you, Nico? I think we've got to say, um, give me another. I think I'm looking forward to calling that more. But not to say that anything else takes a gloss away from the meeting. I mean, there are big races the whole day, competitive horses, but you just like to see champions getting better. And you know, when you call three-year-old classic races, they only get one chance to be a three-year-old. And, and those are the, everyone is, is just rooting to win with their top three-year-olds. And it's great to have the, the nature of the horses that we've got running. And a big shout out to all the traveling guys from Cape Town Absolutely. to come up. I mean, Absolutely. that makes the meeting, that you've got travelers coming up, you've got Durban horses coming, you've got Cape Town horses coming, the more the merrier for us. Yeah, you've got the, Ma you got the Mark Miller Absolutely. from, from yeah, Durban, you've yeah. got the Candace Bass from Cape Town, well done Dean to them. Canemar. Dean Can Canemar coming from the horse chestnut, an absolute pleasure. I thought they, they, I'm happy they put a bit of petrol in their, in their trucks and got past Durban to come up to uh, to come and meet us up in Joburg. But, but they'll treat them with uh, respect, so they'll of come in and they'll have a good time. Of course, I mean, you're coming to the best race course in South Africa, the fairest course in South Africa, and it's going to be an absolute dumping on Saturday. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is about a wrap from us. And uh, as you heard, a track that was playing a couple of moments ago. <laughs> if you won and if you've managed to get a bit of that pick six, you can make your way to Barbados, but not before Saturday because it is classic day. On behalf of Nico and uh, Johnny, we wish you a very good evening ahead. Don't forget, 12 midday is the time to be uh, getting your first bets on and to be sitting in front of your telly. But better still, be here at 2.17. For now, from the entire team, that is KK and all the production crew, it's good evening.